Hi guys! Okay, so I only have a couple of minutes, I think, to do this video. Excuse the appearance. This is probably what you're gonna get for the next couple of months while I try to scour away into my room and record these videos while my baby's asleep. So I have little baby monitor here, so if he cries, this video is gonna stop and then you'll probably see me in a different outfit or I'll have to redo the entire video altogether. So anyway, I wanted to do this quick unboxing. I did a little bit of shopping during the Singles Day sale, the 11th of November uh, thingy and I actually intended to do a lot more damage but actually a lot of the stores were not really doing much that day. Um, I think the big online stores were so I got a couple of things from Lazada. I wanted to get a couple of things from Sephora but Sephora wasn't really doing much of a sale. They had like free sample boxes and whatnot which I wasn't really interested in. Uh, so I decided to go on Lazada, got a couple of their mystery boxes. Uh, I only managed to get two of their mystery boxes, the Maybelline one as well as the Yves Rose one I think that's how you pronounce it so I had a couple of brands on uh, that were running in different times during the day but these boxes were selling out really really quickly especially uh, for the brands that were very very popular so I tried to get the Laniche one I didn't get basically they were sold out within like five minutes uh, once the sale actually started so I managed to get just the Maybelline and the Yves Rocher one and the way this mystery boxes work is uh, they say that you only need to pay 29 sing dollars and you would get a box that's worth over a hundred sing dollars so I thought that was quite fun you know to see little surprises and uh, I have very low expectations of these boxes uh, because I know that not not everything that I get would be cool but I thought it would be still fun enough to unbox it for you guys okay so here is how the Maybelline box came in it is a huge box so I was really surprised when I saw this box but when I felt it it was freaking light it's very very light and it says here it's the Maybelline X um, Lazada online revolution blah 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 thing. okay so as I open it I was very very disappointed <laughs> because as you can see there there's no like it's just a box and yeah this is what it is and there's very very little items here but you know I didn't look through the items yet so you never know maybe even though there's very little items maybe the items are pretty kick-ass so let's see um, okay so the first item here that I have is a fashion brow uh, item it is in the color dark brown so I think I'll be able to use this is the, uh, like a brow pencil it comes with a spoolie it looks a lot like the one that I usually wear which is a silky girl one and it's in dark brown which is my color so you can't go wrong with that so and then the next item here is the color jolt matte and it is I think it's like a lip paint type of product it's supposed to be maybe I've not seen it before but it comes in this color it's in the color um, show off nude in number four now usually drugstore nude products don't work very well on me so I'm gonna google how this particular color looks like from so the swatches I've seen so far this is kind of how it looks like I think it's going to my gut tells me that it's going to be too light for me so I'm going to keep it and put it in one of my giveaways coming up soon uh, but I think it's supposed to be like a lip paint type of thing kind of similar to what you have in Too Faced I think so it looks really cool but unfortunately I'm not surprised though because usually drugstore products they don't really uh, match my skin tone okay so this next one I would be able to keep it is the hyper sharp power black eyeliner yep. I tried their hyper sharp ranges before and I really like it the one that I tried had like a yellow um, backing but this one has a red one and uh, yeah it was I don't recall not liking it so this is in the intense black version I don't know the prices of these but definitely I mean I paid $29 for this box I'm pretty sure just with this eyeliner and the brow pencil it would have paid for the box already so I'm really not complaining I did do it for the fun of it so the rest of it comes in this uh, little bubble wrap thing here uh, I can see two lipsticks the first one a red lipstick this is one of the uh, um, loaded bowls like red lipstick thingies and it looks just 
a brilliant red color so let me open it up and this is in the color dynamite red number seven. Oh my god it is so bright it is very very bright and very pretty and it looks like it has a matte finish so that's really really pretty and you can't go wrong with a red lipstick so this is nice next lipstick is in the color pitch black so it's the same kind but it's in black and i actually got the exact same lipstick quite recently from Amazon Prime. I featured it in one of my hauls, so I'm not going to open this. I'm going to again include this in one of my giveaways. And last but not least is a BB Cushion Fresh Matte um, thingy. It comes in its own little box here. I'm pretty sure this would have also paid for the box as well. It's in the color 3 Natural. Um, again, I don't think it would fit me. Uh, but this is how it looks like. Very nice packaging. I haven't actually tried this. The last one I tried that was of this kind of range was the Laniche one. So comes with a really nice um, little bottle here. And the way these work is that they are sort of cream packaging, cream BB creams that are in here. You basically need to put your hands in it and... Oh, okay. Let me show you a little bit of snippet in there. So that's kind of how it looks like. So I don't think the color is going to suit me. Um, but in any case, even if it did, I don't usually use BB cream. So this one I'm definitely giving to my mom. So because she's a little bit fairer than me. And uh, she doesn't need like very high coverage of products when she goes out. So a BB cream would be very, very suitable for her. So and that's it. That's what's in the mystery box. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six six items here um i don't deny or doubt that all these items would add up to a hundred dollars uh because even though maybelline is a drugstore product it is imported from the us and in singapore the drugstore products are quite expensive uh so and there are some pretty cool products like the bb cream as well as the lipsticks and all that oh, that's that um I wouldn't say I'm disappointed in it. I would just say, yeah, it was quite fun to do this unboxing. Uh, I think out of the one, two, three, four, five, six products, I would be keeping two of them and two would be going into a giveaway that I'll do soon. And then uh, one of them, I'm giving it to my mom. So yeah, it's not going to go to waste and $29 not too bad and on top of that i've got this huge box which i can play around with and we reuse or recycle so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this very quick video uh sorry again if i seem too disheveled for you but this is kind of the best that i can do at this moment i still hope that you still enjoy the content though uh, and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below as always i'll see you guys in my next video bye